I think I'm getting close to the end of the game. So afterwards, I might go to, uh, Dead by Daylight. Or maybe there's this, um, I just saw there's a new puppet combo game that's like a point and click. So I might want to do that. I'm not sure, though. We'll see. I'm not sure how much I have left in this. And I do actually... I feel like at some point I want to, like, just grind and, like, max out all the characters and shit. Because this is the kind of game that's fun with that. But, uh... Let's see who's in here. Why? I'll just continue with Misako. Because I have her, like, basically... Mostly maxed out. I didn't do shit with the other girl, really. Let's go down Mango Kimono. Devourer. Okay, I thought this was gonna be one of those vocal music stage guys. Yo, you know what's funny? I I keep on having more people tell me with the Icy Hot Santa stuff. People telling me that they they just don't remember them. Like I thought that came out back in the day, and I thought everybody knew the Icy Hot Santa's, but I guess not. Oh yeah, and I added shit. Like I added that little um. The, uh, the pixel thing in the background. Let me wait, let me grab my phone and sh and show you guys what I can do with the pixel art thing that I got back there. What's up, Victor? And, uh, Miami Sunrise. And thanks for that host. Um. Shit, I clicked out of it. Uh. Wait, like, let me completely rearrange my screen. Quahog, I like how your chat is so much less retarded than some other streamers, no shitty emotes, or meme spams, it's like a lounge for actually mature people. For now, eventually, I feel like at some point we're gonna cross that Rubicon where it's like, it just degenerates completely, but for now, for now it's pretty chill. What's going on, Beaner and Alright, so this... Pixel thing I have in the background right now, I have it set to be um, the Doom Guy head, and normally it animates. But if I just learned a little bit before the stream that you can set any of the animated things that they react to noise, so it winds up uh, like you can see it like now it like winds up talking while I'm talking. I can deal with anything. What else do I fucking got here? I also bought a flamingo. But, the flamingo's head, I guess it's like, it's too bright. So, it just, the head winds up being absorbed, and it's just like, oh, an amorphous pink blob. But I, I picked these things up because I started using the fisheye lens, and you see more of the room. Let's see, what else we got here? That's a thing I could set it to. How about... Oh, the, oh, it's right, there's a Kefka animation someone made. Kefka. So right now it's just like the Kafka laugh animated, but then now I set it to uh, I guess a little the sensitivity is a little low or a little high rather. So it all right. This one is just kind of uh, or maybe there's like some ambient noise that's triggering. All right, this one isn't that good of an example. I think I gotta get a bigger one, actually, because it's like, it's like, uh, the pixel in the background, it's like, I think I, I got the smallest one. I didn't realize there were bigger ones, but there are. So I think I'll get a bigger one so it comes across on the screen a little bit better. Maybe I'll put that one, like, a little bit. Alright, let me, let me find something better for the background, though. What, there was, like, a fat Sonic the Hedgehog someone made. Sonic. Like, F-A-T, not P-H-A-T. Like, fat, losing, like, a bulbous fucking Sonic the Hedgehog. And Owen is pretty bad. This is River City Girls, which is basically a sequel to River City Ransom. Alright, these Sonic ones that I'm... Alright, this is... This is goofy enough that it might work out how I want to. 
this kind of Sonic squatting up and down. Well, there's a different one. Sonic uh, wave, wagging his finger at us. But the movement's a little low. I think I'm gonna go back to Doom Guy. That's working out for me. Cool. All right. Yeah. Because even though it's it's the the damage animation, it oh it looks like talking. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I gotta get a bigger one. Oh, that's right, I got the dropkick move. The dropkick move is badass. I was trying to remember, like, what the fuck I was using last time that was just tearing shit up. Please enter. Let us master the art of breaking faces. With your fucking mullet. Billy Lee never had a mullet. Why do they give him a mullet now? It's very strange. Backflip kick. Excellent choice. Where's the backflip kick? Okay, so that's another, uh... Using that up, but, you know. We have Squiddle Boot. Do I like some gore grind? What bands will be considered gore grind? Like, uh... Like, the only thing I can think of, the only frame of reference I have for what that might be is, uh, if you ever listened to this band called Premises. They were, uh, they were a band that was, like, local to New York City. Thanks for the sub, Kangarang. Uh, we used to play a lot of my old, my original band used to play a lot of shows with them. I, I guess they would be a gore grind band. Pretty good, actually. Or, um, would, like, Worm Rot? Would Worm, worm Rot fall into that category, or no? Ah, my fucking chain broke, huh? What am I, I'm, what am I doing? I'm fucking letting myself get killed here. Do I have any food? I don't. Punching the mouth by the zombie girl, now I'm fucking dead. Brutal Sphincter, yeah, that's a good ass name. I don't know what horror movies are on Netflix right now, but fuck, did you guys watch the trailer for Cracka? If you guys, like, I'm unironically stoked to see Cracka. Like, if you don't know what Cracka is, I, they just put the trailer out today, I think. It's a alternate history movie where you got this dude that's like a a neo-Nazi bothering a black guy in a car and then somehow he gets transported to an alternate past where white people are slaves and black people are slave owners and they think the neo-Nazi is a runaway slave. And the movie itself, like it it looks like it's trying to be important art, but it's it looks fucking bad. But that's not a bad thing. I say all the fucking time that the best bad movies are the ones that aren't trying to be bad. So I have very, very hope, very good hopes. Well, very, I, why did I say it like I just learned English today? I have very high hopes. Pete Buddy Geek level high, high hopes that Cracker will be a uh, all time, all time uh, so bad that it's a good movie. Guarantee it. I mean, you can already see, like, the people who are... It's clearly trying to be, like, a woke movie, but the people it wants... The, like, the people that I think that the movie views its audience as are already offended by it. So, it's it's a movie that... It's not 
you, let me not say it's not for anyone. It's for people like me who like to watch trash. But it seems like that's what it's going to be. Like, it seems like a movie that wants to take itself seriously, but will not be taken seriously. Did they ever watch a Serbian film? Yeah. A Serb there was like this period of time on the internet when... Why did this guy pick up a baseball? What are you going to do with that? Except not be able to block. Um... Where it seemed like every year there was a new movie that would be the, the movie that if, if you're edgy online, you gotta see this movie. One of them being the Serbian film, which I enjoyed a Serbian film. And the, the fucking soundtrack to a Serbian film fucking slaps, like, way more than it deserves to. Oh, wait, I forgot. Alright, now I, I gotta rem now I remember what I'm supposed to be doing here. Gotta get into the list, and I gotta, like, learn the... Favorite food, hometown, and dog. So I'm assuming I gotta go to locations to find these things. Defeat one hit Tommy so Godai can use the bathroom in Ocean Heights. Um, shit. And then there, what was the, I always forget, I always try to remember what this movie is called, and then I forget what it's called. But there is another movie that, it had Tony Todd in it. And it was, it was the movie that everyone, it's like, oh, this movie just came out, and you gotta see this movie, it's so fucked up. I forgot what the, it was basically the, the online so fucked up movie before a Serbian film. But I'm, all I remember is Tony Todd was in it as a clerk. No, not I spit on your grave. Like, it, I'm talking like movies that had it just come out at the time people were talking about them. And not the remake of I Spit on Your Grave. Although the remake of I Spit on Your Grave was way better than I expected it to be. Murder set pieces, that's what I'm thinking of. But yeah, like I said, looking forward to, uh, to Kraka, there needs to be, they, like, if they really want to go in, like, I don't, I feel like they're not trying to make a black exploitation film, but it's just going to come across that way, but they might as well lean into it and have a fucking Fred Williamson cameo. Nah, from what I see in the trailer, it looks like it's all unknown actors. It, like, it's defi it definitely appears to be kind of low budget, although I think it- I think it's a TV or a stream made like, made like a direct to streaming or whatever the hell. Alright, so I gotta find the bathroom. Meow, 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 meow. here for the noise concert sorta can you believe she finally came back to river city yeah totally i mean how long has it been right um 13 at least six months oh yeah maybe longer even i think maybe yeah anyway you don't have any extra passes to the concert do you the concert. <laughs> that's a good one you know they sold out months ago yeah, I'm hilarious. You could only get them in Noise's hometown. Where was that again? Bunsenville? Perfect. Damn, they Later. made her. Wait, they don't made you her guys stack, hang? huh? Sorry, we got a jet. Bye, Cowrie. But I wanted to hang. Oh, and someone brought up The Last of Us, too. I keep on seeing things about The Last of Us, too, that make me be like, oh, is this game actually cool? Like, it's weird to see people complaining that it's too violent like one description I heard of it was like this is a, a shallow glorification 
of violence. And I was like, Are, what? And this is a critical review? That sounds awesome. Someone else called it torture porn, and I'm like, really? Oh, maybe I got this game all wrong. What was the other description? Vito called it something. That I was, oh, Vito called, said it was like a... a Vito, Vito, Vito meaning Vito Geschwaldi, if you don't know Vito. He called it, uh... He, he compared it to a B-horror movie, and I was like, what? That sounds awesome, actually. But then I caught a glimpse of Internet Historian stream of it before, and I caught a glimpse of, um, of Critical's stream of it before, and I was like, oh, this game looks boring. Never mind. But, like, the way people are- the way some people that are criticizing the game are describing it makes it sound like it's awesome. I, I caught part of it during it. Actually, weirdly, what I I only saw two streams of it: Internet Historian stream and Charlie stream, and they both just happened to be like around the same part of the game. So I'm just watching them walk around, and there's a part where you're walking. Not only are you walking, following some chick, but there's big, big, blinking arrows to show you where to walk, as if like. Like, how dumb do they think the game- the player is that they can't even follow someone? Oh my god! Oh, it's an accessibility- like, they both were just using the accessibility settings? Is it on by default, or are they just both turn on to be dicks? Come on, I want to recruit you. Yes, I want to recruit the furry girl. Thanks for the sub, Vape Spawn. I saw another another clip. Um, I think it was Viperwave playing it. Uh, what you call he? That if, if any of you saw me when I was streaming with uh, Kimono Friendzone, those dudes. Um. They, uh... He was doing this one stealth scene, and then it's just like, he stabs the shit out of some person, I was like, damn, this is fucking badass. But I imagine, like, it's like, that's like a, like a, a brief highlight of an otherwise what seems to be a boring game. Alright, bathroom. Let's go to the bathroom. Hey, well, hell yeah, what's going on, Brayden? Oh, this guy has a pink jacket! I want to recruit the pink jacket guy, that's cool! Oh, he's on top of it. That looked weird. One-hit Tommy in the bat- Oh, it's- Oh, that was the- that was one-hit Tommy. But it's not just everyone. Yo, everyone in the bathroom looks cool. What's going on, Chronovac? All the cool-looking characters to the bathroom. Like I feel like we're getting close to the end of this, so I'll probably wind up playing something else and like. I'm excited to play the new Puppet Combo- well, not the new Puppet Combo published game. Thanks for the sub, Kamigaro. Um, they started publishing some games. I- They made us, like, a new separate label for it. I forgot the name of it, I just found it before the stream. Um... But I want to play that, but I also- I want to finally try out Pyramid Head and Dead by Daylight. Thanks for cheers, Rufus. 
Yeah, so you recruit the muscle thought. Oh, you were you were hiding in the garbage, right, guy? Oh, we got the hype train going. I gotta look more into like my settings for those things. I never. I I, I, mean, I added like a little by little. I'm adding more stuff for the stream. Like I changed the the points to uh. So what should we call it? Fluids. Now you collect your, your fluids. We got points. I gotta come up with some like fluid bonuses. We'll make it a little bit more interesting. Oh, Alright, that is a pretty good move. It sends him up. Yeah, I think um Puppet Combo through that that imprint they're doing basically like you like fun some indie horror games. I think they said they got like three games coming in the next few weeks. Thanks for cheers, Kangarang. Um, one of them, cool. I just get hard myself. One of them being the uh, the point and click game that I downloaded before the stream. I don't know if I'm gonna play that tonight because I really want to give Pyramid Head a shot. That might be a fallback if Dead by Daylight winds up pissing me off though, which that you know, happens. Especially, I haven't played the game in several months, so who knows how I feel about it now. Thanks, Brayden. I have a video coming up soon. Um, I honestly, I should be, uh, doing another Angel Fire episode from a stream soon, but also I'm working on a story about uh, an unreleased Texas Chainsaw Massacre movie. Honestly, I held off on the uh, the Texas Chainsaw Massacre movie because I thought I would be able to convince Shudder to sponsor that one, but they haven't responded. Or if they did, like, it'll be, like, further down the line. But I had my management hit them up and, like, nothing, so. Actually, I was looking to see if Leatherface had a, uh... Oh, I can't go down here. If Leatherface, if somebody had made Leatherface pixel art for that thing I have in the back, um, well, no, someone made a Freddy and someone made a Jason, but no Leatherface. There's a lot of Michael Myers. One hit Tommy in the bathroom. Oh yeah, it was a round up that way. Got greedy with the stops. Yeah, that was Hellraiser. I was thinking of Hellraiser just now too, because the way I wanted coming across um, the new puppet combo label. That, I don't know. If, what would you call it? Like a label? A distribution company, I think, is what you would call it. Um, that the account they made for that had a post going viral, where you pick. It was like a list of 80s horror movies, and you had to pick three. Um, and one of the options was Hellraiser. I wound up picking Day of the Dead, Sleepaway Camp, and Return of the Living Dead. But it was a really hard choice, and Hellraiser is one of the ones that I was on the fence about. Um, the Shining was on the list, which for some reason I thought The Shining was 70s. But it came out in 1980, apparently. Dude, I was about to actually speak of Sleepaway Camp. I had like the tweet ready to go, and I'm like, I don't know, this might be a little too spicy. I don't want to deal with it. Like posting the ending of Sleepaway Camp and being like, Yo, guys, I just beat the Last of Us. Might be a little too spicy in a way that I don't feel like dealing with. But Sleepaway Camp is a fucking classic, super underrated slasher movie. Oh, yeah, dude, like, Drew, that, the girl that played Angela, hope, like, she's, she, I mean, I haven't seen her super recently, but at least, like, when she kind of, like, made her comeback, I was like, damn, like, she aged very well.
Yeah, Sleepaway Camp 2 is good too. I don't think I've seen the third one. Oh no, actually, wait, I think I saw the third one somewhat recently. But I definitely like the second one. No, wait, wait. Their Return to Sleepaway Camp was... Was that the third one or the fourth one? I don't remember the timeline now. It's kind of... Oh, been like, been a minute. What's up, Retro Gaming Dev? Thanks for the host. Have I played the OG River City Ransom? Yeah. Actually, something that this game made me want to do is now that they've been translated. Back in the day, like there nobody like there was a patch being worked on for the Super Famicom Kunio games. But oh yeah, this just this here I can't really do anything about this. Um. Oh shit! Actually, I have more money than I realize now. Um. Choco, Misako. Hey. It's hey. Mihoko, isn't it? Yeah. Hi, Mihoko. It's so funny running into you guys out here. Hello, What's up, Einstein? What are you up to? Walking my dog. Isn't she the cutest, woodest little doggy ever? Guess what her name is. Oh well, this one's Garbage full face. Uwu. What? No, it's it's Molly McMuffins. She's super cute, right, Misako? Yeah, totally. Yesterday, we even ran into noise walking her dog on the beach. Can you believe it? Did you catch her dog's name? Oh, yeah. Awesome. Totally. So are you guys headed to the fair, or...? What was her dog's name? <laughs> oh, her dog's name is Dog. But, like, D-A-W-G, Dog, you know? Like how the cool kids say it? I hate everything about this conversation. Thanks so much. We gotta get running. Bye, Mihoko! Bye, Kyoko! Bye, Misako! Say bye to the nice ladies, Molly McMuffins! Damn, this, they're gonna kill the dog. It's, it, <laughs> Wait, is she supposed to literally just be, like, choking it right there? I think she is. Like that fucking lady in the park. Oh, damn! Punched my, uh, dominatrix thought. How dare you. I forgot where I was. Oh, where I, what I was talking about. We are going to sleepaway camp. There's something after that. Yeah, she's definitely choke. Like the dog's trying to stand, she's just choking it. Oh, the Kunio games, that was it. So, there... There were a couple of Super Famicom Kunio games. When I had found them back in the day, though, like, the translation patches weren't finished. Now they are finished, I believe. Actually, what I didn't even realize, too, the second one... You could actually play, as, your, as the characters from this game... Um, Misako and the other one... They are actually playable in the Super NES Kun in the Super Famicom Kunios. I didn't. I thought this was the first time they were playable. They look way different. Like they look, they look more like these girls that I'm stomping on. Like they have like a regu regular school girl outfits, but it was the same characters. Now, welcome to my dojo. Let's enlighten ourselves. The backpack swing. That's it. For Peace now. be with you. How do Indeed I do that? Not. 
Georgios, you Greek fuck. Backpack swing is down and big. Alright, that's a good, like, get out of trouble move. Pyramids. Oh, pyramid. I hope Pyramid Head is good in Dead by Daylight. Like, just like based. <laughs> I didn't know I could do that. I wonder if I'm gonna have to fight him. And if he'll be like fighting him in Double Dragon 2. I love that this game has a ton of crossover with Double Dragon. Um. Pyramid Head is quite powerful. Alright, awesome. Broke it even, alright. The thing is, with Dead by Daylight, and I haven't played in a long ass time, but I kinda suck ass at chasing people. Welcome to my dark emporium. But with Freddy, I was pretty good at, uh... Tell your friends. Pretty good. I just like tricking people into offering themselves up to get fucked. Well, I guess I'll find out about Pyramid Head. I saw they also added like kind of like a quasi story mode thing since I last played it. I didn't really get a good look at it. I just saw that like you kind of choose a path on it and there's a guy in the house. Oh, what? Let's see how the, what the garter does. Alright, so the bomb bra is velocity. Furl bra is vaunt. Hmm. Let's try this. Why is there an exclamation point on the screen? Lucky Penny. Oh, hey there. Oh yeah, thanks for the sub, Sea Rat. I don't think I, I think it's fell into my radar before. Later, ladies. Oh, uh, maybe when I, I beat these fucking guys up, they'll drop enough cash. Hey, check out that sign. Fatty tuna. Oh, okay. No, that's what I had to look, look for. Oh, below it. Noise's favorite food. Hey, mine too. Question answered. Come on. All right. What's up, Slayer? S Slayer. Oh yeah, the next the next pull of video about the Hong Kong 97 death screen. That video was dope. Like a bunch of people were asking me to look into that, but I really I didn't know much about it. And then like around the time people were asking me to do it, I think they hadn't figured out yet what the death screen was. But I mean if you don't know what I'm talking about, it's like this really shitty, shittily made game by some dude. And it had a creepy looking game over screen, and it turned out that the game over screen was an actual picture of a dead body. But that was only recently discovered, uh. less than a year ago, I think. And that was ju just a very surface overview of it. Alright, where else do we go here? Stop. 
stopping before I even land the ground. Oh! This chick kicked me out of the fucking air. Now you get whipped. Like the piece of garbage that you are. That's right, Hannah, you are done for. Help you. Hmm. We're here for VIP passes to the Noise concert. We're her number one fans. Oh, really? Like, the biggest. Yay! Go Noise and stuff. Hmm. Yeah. If you are indeed her biggest fans, what is her. Fatty Tuna! And where. Bunsonville! And. Dog! But how the cool kids spell it. I'm impressed. Here are two VIP passes nice. to the concert. Enjoy. And you seriously don't remember us? No. Should I? Nope. Thanks for the passes. Yeah, the combat, it... It's it's weird because, like, there's not, like, a lot of depth in, like... Like, in a comboing system or anything like that, compared to a Streets of Rage type game or anything like that. But there's a lot of variety you can do in it. And you want to lock more moves that kind of uh, make it a little more interesting. And there's some things like like an item that'll increase the velocity of how items get thrown, like this. Plus there's just that RPG type grind that these kinds of games don't usually have, but it's a holdover from the original River City Ransom. Basically the kind of, the, the sort of thing that makes it feel like a River City Ransom game. Stomp your head. Hell yeah, Tim Dog. Why is this, this one just standing here blocking nothing? A video on that on the Nickelodeon website. What Nickelodeon website? Oh, I keep on jumping into the fucking water. Let's go to Nova Societas. We got VIP passes. Yeah, so scram off. Are these legitimate? Yes. And so's my fist if you don't get out of our way. Your fist is legitimate. <laughs> We're kind of in a hurry, sir. Really big noise fans, and we don't want to miss the first song. The passes are good. Enjoy the show. Damn, I kind of wanted to fight him. I'm gonna throw that boss battle. Oh shit, he did the thing! Well, that's weird. Me doing the uh that's like the the Leonardo Card Le Wow Leonardo Card <laughs> Leonardo DiCaprio, not Leonardo. Leonardo DiCaprio pointing the finger at the TV because he did the thing. Wait, so can I throw them in there? It doesn't look like it. When they die, at least. My favorite movie from Leona Cardo. Oh. Maybe The Departed?
Ready the fuck is that like you? Give us back our boyfriends. Yeah, we missed their snuggles. Security! We've got some more crazies up here. What's the matter? Can't deal with us yourself. You calling me a wuss? If the shoe fits. Misako, her shoes are like hella amazing. Yeah, they kinda are. Ugh. Enough! I didn't steal your boyfriends, but if they ditched you to be here tonight, <laughs> what else is new? Wipe that smirk off your face before I punch it off! I'd like to see you try, Dingle Butt. Dingle Butt? It's an insult, you tool! Nobody insults me, but me! Get bit! Get wrecked! Get beat! Get sliced! Get destroyed! And get off my stage! Nozomi, is that you? What? Oh shit, she got doxxed. Nozomi, that is so totally you! Doxxed on stage. You don't know me! Of course I do! Remember when you transferred to my school in grade 5? This girl's crazy! I don't know her! Security! And how no one wanted to sit with you? Please, don't do this to me! I know a cool kid when I see one! Uh, Nozomi. Cool name. It sounds like Noise Zombie. You just moved here? Yeah, from Bunsenville. But I don't think the kids here want to be friends. Not with a dingle butt like me. Well, I'll be your friend. Surprise hug! Oh! Let's be best friends, yeah? I... I'd like that. This is all playing out, like... There's but you were thousands of fans friend. on stage. You left a month later and I was all alone! I got expelled for stealing basketball hoops. That's where you got all those? Uh-huh. Weirdo. Enough! You come on my Ugh, stage comes... and embarrass me? Yeah, I played Streets of Rage 4 like a lot. We've got VIP passes. It's awesome, yeah, but at the same time infuriating. Here? So you're big fans, huh? Especially if you're trying to play your for scores. Name is dog. Then get ready for this next song. It's a real killer track. She's going to murder us now, isn't she? Yep. Yo, why is that bass player fucking... Oh no, he's a guitar player. Why is he barefoot fucking hippie on stage? Oh, this is like a... Oh, this is like anti-guitar hero here. Oh man. Oh shit. Yo, the fans, come on, you gotta beat their asses. Hell yeah. <laughs> That's how people walk. They're just so excited. They flail their arms wildly. Uh, I imagine I'm going to play a different song between each one. Very interesting concept that it's like reverse guitar hero. Oh, cunts. I don't know why I did that big dash across.
Wait, so is the, it seems like there's like not really an opportunity to damage her now. What the fuck? Wait, it seems like like there's like any chance where she might be vulnerable, she just hits you with an automatic attack of some kind. episodes of Eesh. I probably should have brought some healing items with me this this music is mad fucking like hex girls they 100% thought of the hex girls and they made this part I guarantee it. I'm definitely not gonna make it past this part. Almost though, almost. I think now that I know what they do... Oh wait, you know what I should have done? I should have equipped the more damage against female enemies thing. hippie bass player up there. I mean, the keyboard dude only probably needs two keys. I was, I'm way more disgusted by the barefoot bass man. I don't, I don't like people walking around barefoot when they don't have to be. Like those fucking barefoot is legal people. I'm actually banned from the barefoot is legal Facebook group. <laughs> I think at some point... No, not the group, the page. Have you ever seen those pop up, barefoot is legal? I think one day I just respond, I just commented on one of their pictures they posted, you people disgust me. I think that's what I did and they just blocked me. And they'll post pictures of themselves like going into the grocery store with no shoes on, they're fucking dirty fucking souls. But they act like it's it's not a fetish thing, like they're fighting for justice or whatever the hell. It's like, no, you got... You fucking weirdos just want to have your fucking feet out all the time. Disgusting. Get out of here.
Knock it down. Oh yeah, that reminds me too. I did want to try just doing a, a stream looking at dumb shit on wiki feet. I feel like that would be a good stream. Maybe something could be turned to a video, maybe not. And there's... You know how Wikipedia, they'll just get these... They'll be these people and just get into these really, like... Intense squabbles about nothing. I mean, I guess to some extent, the Silent Hill Wiki episode was like that. But they'll have edit wars, and not necessarily edit wars, but sort of like like arguments about shit on wiki feet. Like the one I remember is Casey Anthony. There was a whole debate over whether or not Casey Anthony belongs on the belongs on wiki feet if she meets the standards of what belongs on there and doesn't. And they made a, a there's like a separate wiki feet men I think I remember seeing someone put Philip DeFranco on there I don't remember who else is floating around on there uh, you girls are so metal I prefer trip hop we survived your song now tell us where Cuneo and Ricky are I have no idea where your boyfriends are uh, shouldn't you they were kidnapped or maybe not we don't know it's been a long day. We thought they might be here because, like, all the boys love noise. <laughs> the twi big twist should be later out with some random okay, tinder thoughts. You should try San Wakai Tower. That's where Sabu runs his criminal empire. Oh shit, we're fighting Sabu. If your boyfriends got kidnapped. Odds are they ended up there. How do you know all this? Sabu paid for my first album. I'm not proud of that. It's okay, Nozomi. Thanks. Let's get out of here, Kyoko. Bye, Dinglebutt. Okay, you rejects! Enough sappy story time! Are you ready to rock? One, two, three, four! Wow, oh, what's the music player do? Extra... 10% damage when a noise song is playing. I wonder if that's these uh, songs with vocals in the background. Oh my god, I just got fucking juggled like a motherfucker. And so, so I walk into the fucking ocean. Twice! Alright, everybody out of my way. Money. Welcome to my dark emporium. Coin purse. What will this do? <laughs> Five percent chance of double money drops from each enemy. See you soon. That's probably good for uh for just unlocking the rest of the stuff pretty quickly. I still might need something to put in the middle of that Goatsy emote. I don't know. There's lots of things you can put in there. That exist. Oh, oh yeah, let me get away from here. Before I waste all me money. Please enter. 
Let us master the art of breaking faces. The Hopney. Power nice Bomb. Ah, I Spiral Uppercut. Nice move. We learn learn attacks all. hoping to never use them. Yeah. Do it with the Kamambra. Alright, Spiral Uppercut. So that's basically like a, gonna be like a sure you can imagine. That's just a sub blast action. Spiral uppercut. Hop me. Oh shit! It's got the sound from Double Dragon. Hell yeah. All the fucking Double Dragon references in this game get me hyped. Big Bad, what's going on, dude? Oh yeah, I added a different uh, raid text. So now it says. No talents that disturb the peace of quiet for everybody else. Alright, so. Double. Alright, so then we got that spiral uppercut, drop kick, backpack swing. The stun gun is just straight up B. Power bomb. B plus Y, so. Maybe you have to be like in the situational thing. I ever played Double Dragon on stream? I I haven't. Oh, word! There is there is food down there in the tea place. I remember not hating the Double Dragon movie as much as I probably should have. The main thing I remember from it was like Alyssa Milano was in that I think as Marion, but they made her that 90s tomboy kind of vibe, which was pretty fucking hot. And they made a Bobo look like ridiculous, like some kind of they gave him like some crazy Roy shit. Ah, oh, it's you. Alright, let's eat a lasagna or oh, ravioli. Lucky penne. Hot I'm not gonna stuff. use it now because I want to see what it does. I like the spaghetti. Fig bat, you gonna watch Cracker? Oh, this made me stronger. Fig bat, if you haven't seen the trailer for Cracker, you need to watch the trailer for Cracker. It's a, a movie where a neo-Nazi gets transported back in time, where, like, a, a fictional back in time, where where white people are slaves and black people are the slave owners, and they find him and they think he's an escaped slave. And, like, this is, like, 100%, like, the next wave of black exploitation films. But the thing is, it's not trying to be a cheesy movie, I think. I think the guy, whoever made it, is, uh, like, legitimately thinks he's making important art. And I think it's a white guy that made it, too. Uh, I, yeah, it's like, the, uh, it's not even out yet. The trailer just came out today. Iron Sky, I haven't watched that yet. Come on. Or I think I started watching it, but then I got distracted or something. That's that Nazis in Space movie, right? Me again! Wow, small world, huh? It's like every dumpster you bump into. There's Godai! I see you're headed into San Wakai Tower. While you're in there, can you do me a favor? There's five Yakuza who have betrayed the family and turned informant. Find them and make them regret that decision. You can spot them by their red outfits, but feel free to beat up everyone else too. You know, for funsies. Let's do it. Oh yeah, green room was fucking awesome. 
something that I loved about Green Room that you usually don't see in a lot of these movies is that characters will die, but it's done in this way where it's it's so in the moment and shit that you don't there's no time for it to be an over dramatic thing. It's just this character it, it, this guy's dead now. We got we nothing we can do about that. Let's fucking keep going. The Warriors was kind of like that. Oh, granted, in the Warriors, I want to specifically what I'm talking about in the Warriors. If you guys remember, there's that part of the Warriors. Look, it's those girls again. Oh, these fucking. Can it, Hasabe? These studies. What's more? Day. Rude. So rude. What are you girls doing here? Sunbathing. In front of a yakuza building. The sun is perfect here. Yeah, don't you know that? Oh wait, I forgot you're I feel like these characters are gonna be bosses. We don't got time for this! Step aside, we need to find our boyfriends! Your boyfriends? <laughs> Could they be any more clueless? Uh-oh. What's so funny? Kunio loves me. Riki is mine. Do you honestly think they'd give a pair of rejects like you two the time of day? Why does it matter what time it is? I don't believe it. Kunio, he, he likes me. Sure he does. And Ricky is totes my BF. Go ahead and ask him. Oh, we will. Tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Later, losers. Oh, shit. I said later, yet yeah, yeah, here they come. Let me watch. Um... Yeah, the Warriors, there's that scene when one of the Warriors just gets thrown in front of a fucking train and they never speak of him again. He's just thrown in front of the fucking train. And apparently it's because that guy just stopped, he just quit the movie. So they're like, oh, I guess this guy is dead now. He's not in this movie anymore. I want to recruit one of these Arnolds. Wow. But yeah, there's there's aspects of Green Room that are like that. Not exactly like that, but I like I like it when when you have at least like in a more grounded. Uh, can you? Would you even call it a horror movie? I don't know if you would call it a horror movie so much. Maybe like some. I see. I see. I can call it a horror movie. Um, but like it's something that's more grounded like that. I like when they have like death be more realistic like that. And not this whole like you know slow mo sad music thing. Just like pop. Okay, you dead. Those drop kicks are so satisfying. I really want to recruit that Arnold though. Oh no. Come on, you motherfucker. Oh oh, at least I didn't Oh I thought oh I did die! I thought I didn't die. But yeah, like I was saying before too with Kraka, it's, I think it's gonna be, I mean first off, there's gonna be, you, guarantee there's gonna be so many memes that come from that movie, there's, I, the trailer alone, I'm sure there's like stuff that like pe people have done with it, but uh, it, it seems, it's hard to get a read on it. I like when I heard about it. I thought it was going to be like a deliberately cheesy movie, like a throw, like a black exploitation throwback. But it seemed I get the impression that whoever made it is earnest it, about it. I I feel like maybe they wanted to try and pander to the woke crowd with it, 
but those people are already offended by it just off the trailer. But it, uh, I I think it's going. I have high hopes that it will be remembered. And uh, why are these like Obviously. bug people? Yeah, those jerks have been jealous of us since we were little kids. Now come on, let's defeat this army of Yakuza soldiers and get our boyfriends back. There's like dead ass like straight up Yakuza in here now with antennas for some reason. Um, why? But seriously, why do the Yakuza have antennas? Um. But yeah, I I have as much of a read as I can get it on get on it from the trailer. It's gonna wind up being just a, an all time great, so good that it's bad movie. I just have that feeling about it. Cause it's like, like as I say it all the time. It's not trying to be bad. It's just it, it, like it's trying to be good, but it looks like it's gonna be bad. Oh, he can do fireballs! Hell oh, yeah. Yeah, like, that's the thing. It seems like it seems like, uh, like Chrono Bag, it's like anyone, everyone who saw that that was a thing before seeing the trailer thought it was like supposed to be a comedy movie, but it's like a, it's a serious movie, or at least that's how the trailer makes it seem. Damn, I was hoping I would get to recruit one of them. and the Yakuza working together. What's this? What is this? Smoke machine? Looks like a smoke machine. You know what they should do? I, I hope that Kraka is so successful that they make a game for it. That's what we really need. I want to recruit this guy. They gotta let me recruit the Yakuza with antennas. Fucking Beetleborg, motherfucker. Why are there, like, students from the high school up, fl up floors in the Yakuza offices? Uh, I guess they're, they're, like, hired goons or whatever. That's a thing. Working their way up. And the wrestlers are in on it. Actually, now I'm thinking, I, I bet... I bet Ricky and Kunio are going to be the bosses. They're going to be evilified or something.
Ah, oh, it didn't start up fast enough. Maybe, in fact, Ricky and Kunio are running the Yakuza. Oh, wait! Oh, you know what? Now that I think about it, shit. I was gonna say, Billy and Jimmy, if they should do the Billy and Jimmy Lee boss cameo again, because they had that in River City Ransom, but they're already in the game as merchants. So I don't think that's gonna happen. blood with those kidneys, those knees to the kidney. Now we have fucking Yakuza allies. Kind of a whack assist, though. Pocket sand. Higher and higher. Oh, what is this? Like some Resident Evil movie type shit? I like how the second wave just kind of prances out. Like it's, like it's fucking party time. Okay, she comes out with the daggers. I didn't catch that the first time. I wonder if that movie... Kraka is, like, even done filming. Actually, you know what? I think it has, like, some kind of uh, a streaming deal or whatever, so it probably does. It probably is. Um, so I was like, they should, they 100% should, like, read the room and be like, alright, people aren't, aren't taking this shit seriously. Let's go full fucking, for, like, you know, forget our high, ambitious, artistic hopes and dreams. I just go, like, lean into the exploitation film shit. Get a Fred Williamson cameo. There's been things like that where it, like, they realized... Oh yeah, Kangaroo Jack was like that. Where... Uh... Where Kangaroo Jack was supposed to be, uh, a serious crime film, but then they're like, it wasn't working out that way, so they just made it a kid's movie.
Oh, this is a stack. I just realized this is a stack of money. Stack of the blue dollars. Oh, oh, oh I get it. They're money laundering. Oh my god. Oh. Oh. They're money laundering, guys. Yeah, the, all the, um, all, right now I think all of the, uh, the, the channel points, I think I have them all on the default settings. I gotta come up with, like, a really creative high point value one. But I don't know what, what it'll be right now. Oh, we got Green Arnold in here. I wonder if this guy is supposed to be the guy in Double Dragon 2 or not. At some point in Double Dragon 2, there's a guy with a flat top haircut that's basically an Abobo palette swap with a different head. But he, it looks like he's wearing like Zubaz or something. Love that wrench. Fuck, they really should have just made Billy and Jimmy Lee secret bosses here. Maybe they are. Maybe, uh, just because they're in the dojo doesn't mean they're not. Huh. Oh, okay, I can climb up that. What's up, Angel? We're gonna fight Tyrant? I'm gonna show you the Tyrant. Alright, well, I wanna keep my Arnold guy, so I'm just gonna... Give you bleeding piss by eating you in the fucking kidneys. What a David Bloody Cage? Oh my god. Electric floor. What a David Bloody Cage. I always loved how offended Wesker seemed that Chris or Jill was. I think it was just Chris that laughed at it. He always seemed so uh, offended. Not even offended, like, it hurt his pride that Chris laughed at the tyrant. Oh, we got zombie Yakuza's. Yakuza's. Like they're Pokemon. And you're a... You know, I mean, you don't say Pokemon's anyway, but you know, like... Like it's your parents saying Pokemon's. Oh, no! Pokemon. Pokey with the pokey and the man and the thing where the guy comes out and bop bop. This is a great song for beating up Yakuza. Inside what seems to be some kind of strange human trafficking operation perhaps. Oh, nice, you dropped an apple. Get electric code, you fuck. You antenna having weirdo. Hold it. You're not allowed up here. Making the penis is so big. We need to get inside that penthouse. Nobody gets inside. Japanese, it's so small. 
Please don't ask us to guess your dog's name. Or buy you a golden cat. What? No, I was gonna say, no one gets inside except the boss. And it's my job to keep hooligans like you from entering. Hooligans? Yeesh, that's judgy. Yeah. Damn, this guy is Especially featured in shit. Especially coming from a Yakuza henchman holding still a don't give him proper name. He's still uh, Yakuza. This is my job. Not a very good one. Enough chit-chat. Open those doors before I open your skull. Not gonna happen, baby. Baby? <sighs> Those Based. doors are reinforced tungsten titanium alloy. To get through there, you'd need like four explosive charges. Not three, not five, but four charges. Yeah, that'd be Should've just enough to toots. blow them open. Hey, wait. We gotta bring that back. Pulling women next to toots. the door we just came in. Yeah, huh? Will those work, Mr. Criminal Guy? Oh, me and my big mouth. Does he have a gun? Hey, toots. Let's find those explosives. And blow things up! Only the penthouse door. Yeah, right. We're back! Now let Yeah, all the the whole Yakuza operation is gonna go. But this guy is a simp. Oh wait, I'm gonna take the uh folding chair for sure. Room. Oh, yeah. wait. Oh, those fucking smoke machine things. The things I thought were smoke machines were the explosives. If I'm ever really rich and I have, you know, a place to just build dumb shit, I'm gonna have an electric floor. Shock mice with it, like fucking Logan Paul. I was on the yellow part. Come on, don't bullshit me. Oh, this is where the zombies get made. I bet the volleyball is perfect for zombies. Is this an explosive thing? Yep, it is. Yeah. Now be careful you don't blow us up. Or oh, the dodgeball. It is a Cuneo game. It's a fucking dodgeball. We got a little shop of horrors back there. I, I just bonked her on the head. <laughs> Yo, the wrench is so satisfying in this game. Bonk! I'm gonna take that. I'm gonna wanna blow up the money laundering operation. You know? Sun Kai Kao. Alright, there's one more downstairs. Oh yeah, it was the one by the by the uh poker table. Bonk. Hit him with the... Another explosive. Let's go. But I've never been in a casino. 
Kyoko. But fine. Damn. I honestly, I wish Resident Evil 8 would come out sooner because I could go for a new Resident Evil game. Even if it's not an old school style Resident Evil game, just a new Resident Evil would hit the spot right now. Or a new Silent Hill. But that's the hmm. Who knows when we're getting that? Although, there were rumors about something getting announced, but I don't think it ever did. Oh, this one has green tape on her. Wait, is it Sonic? There's something on the other side here that I didn't look at yet. Before I go in here, I want to see what's on this other side. Ah, uh, just the turret. And a mop. What up, Tom Long? Yeah, this game is dope. Especially, it's it's the perfect kind of uh, expansion upon the River City Ransom idea. It keeps all the things that made River City Ransom different from other beat 'em up games, but adds a bit more. So I would I would rate it as both a hoot and a holler. There wasn't much going on in here. I saw something about Guru get mentioned, but I missed most of the conversation. What's the most off the wall shit I've ever seen a fan do at one of my concerts? I mean, I guess nothing will ever top the time there's a dude with a prosthetic leg and he took his fucking leg off and started hitting people with it there's there's no topping that by any measure the closest thing i could think was in kentucky when someone uh it, it was like a, there was this post office we used to play in kentucky and this guy just took a folding chair and started hitting people, but uh, I, prosthetic leg definitely beats folding chair. I got fake tattoos. Okay, explosives planted. Let's get the heck out of here. Wait, first I gotta see what the fake tattoos do. If I equip them. Special attack fills up 5% faster. Thanks for the sub, David Bloody Cage. Um... I feel like my special attack fills up fast enough, so there's no really need, not really a need for it. The weird thing about Goro is, like, it might not be that taboo anymore, but it's not that popular anymore either. There's definitely more of online Goro content. Oh, who's this? Sabuko. Your Sabu? He's prettier than I expected. Silence! My name is Sabugo, daughter to the great Sabu, and head of my father's empire while he is 
indisposed. On the toilet? I think she means prison. Before I kill you both, I'm curious why you felt the need to storm my tower and defeat all my men. And women. We noticed you got a lot of girl Yakuza too. Which is seriously cool. Totally. Girl power! I'm sorry I asked. Prepare to die! Wait! We're here looking for our boyfriends! Kunio and Ricky, did you take them? What would I possibly want with a pair of high school boys? Oh crap! Guess we better look somewhere else. Should I try else to now? wind up on the newspaper? I hope the next place has more shopping. You two aren't going anywhere. Is there gonna, gonna be a boss battle after the Yakuza who's making zombies in their lab? Beat up. Yeah, we did that for love. I don't need anyone to fight my fights for me. I hope you've enjoyed your lives up Yo, to I this bet. point. <laughs> How is she one of edits like a white lady doing this voice, which is kind of funny. <laughs> I don't need anyone to help. I, I made her sound Chinese and not Japanese, but you get the point. I don't need anyone to fight my battle for me. <laughs> oh yeah, no, kicking her in the balls isn't working. I don't want really anyone to fight my battle for me. I fight myself. <laughs> this song's pretty cool. Alright, what do I have equipped? Oh, I don't need the coin purse right now when I'm fighting a fucking boss battle. I should have thought about that sooner. Alright. Oh, next phase. I saw that coming. Oh, which is the real one? How could that be? Who's driving a car? Bear's driving a car. How could that be? Guys, don't know what that's from. You guys gotta watch Clerks the Animated Series. Which was an awesome cartoon that only lasted. I think they played six episodes, like, maybe even less. They might have only played, like, four episodes on TV. And then there were two that's on the DVD that didn't get aired. But it was fucking awesome. Oh, I just did a Stone Cold Stunner to him! Oh! That's what that move was. Holy shit. You could do a fucking Stone Cold Stunner in this game. That rules. Oh, there she is. I see you. Taking damage right now? What the fuck? Do I have to like do something here? What is this? What is, what is this? What's happening now? Oh, you bitch. Your Sabu? I lost my baseball bat.
Right, now I'm like, now I'm just set on doing the fucking stunner again. Now I know that I can. Stunner. Da -na, da -na, da -na. Yo, st I stunned them out of the fucking building. like a buffer thing but like I'm not a buffer thing a um oh wait stunner oh the stunner didn't take him out fuck that all right so I can't like seem to figure out what the deal with this is like it just so it seems like at points in this she just blocks everything, but then there's certain times where she doesn't block anything. That's so weird. She just selectively like blocks or doesn't block. Sabu's daughter doesn't botch as much as her dad. Oh wait, it's it's it continues. We're not done, huh? Well, I only have one little piece of health left, so kind of fucked. Oh, we have to go through like each fucking mode of her. Yeah, so. We're gonna have to beat her, like, two more times after this, at least. I'm gonna have to, like, go buy some health stuff before, like, coming here. A silver haired Yakuza? Where is a place I can buy things? I imagine they would put something close here. Not the sauna. It 100% is supposed to be Arnold. Like, you, you're fucking hitting him and he's like, I. Uh, I There's no way it's not supposed to be Arnold. Cause he's just like, ah, ah. Let's buy a bunch of. All right, at least there's like stuff here that I haven't used before, so I'm also oh, hey just there. going to get. 
Sweet. Stat bonuses from having them. Electric. Fried cheese. Wicked. Hot stuff. Oh, that's enough. Yeah, I mean, what are you supposed to do? It's people watching you just... You fight them. Not gonna be like these internet heroes. If I was there, I would... If I was there, I would beat their asses. I would film it. As someone else, I forgot who it was I saw on Twitter before. before. All these people who say shit like that, uh, that they're the same fucking people who have a fucking nervous breakdown to talk to a cashier in a store, and they're gonna run in and stop, run in and stop a fight. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah, see, it's, it's definitely Arnold. Alright, now... Now that I have my stuff to heal with. Your Sabu? I mean, I guess... I guess a Bobo was supposed to be the double dragon boss. I still think they should have made Billy and Jimmy Lee a boss battle, though. That's too too much of a classic moment in the original. Where they even play the double dragon music when you fight them. Yeah, this is The Last of Us 2. This is... Playing as Abby right now. We just killed a bunch of dogs. What's going on, the Wolf City? I did not hear that raid notification, but we're at the end of River City Girls. I believe the end. Fighting the Yakuza boss. And I just learned that you can do a Stone Cold Stunner. And I forgot to do it to them. I didn't see which one she was fast enough. Oh, she just got up after the one that time. Oh, I'm gonna take, I'm gonna eat some... What do I got here? What am I gonna eat in the middle of this fight? I got a lasagna. I also, I realized that... Alright, now maybe I'll get to do the stunner on somebody. Yes. Stone Cold Stunner. And another one. I realized too the light that that I lit up in the back when she was do when she does the one that it's a bunch of clones of her the first thing lights up so it might just be that one extra thing of health you, that she gets Keep on forgetting that in that position she always blocks, well, always blocks the second hit. There we go. That's what you gotta do. You just give her one of these. It's not over yet, though. Oh, you guys gotta get the stunner. 
Oh, you saved your fucking... Save... That... Thought, you fucking simp. You know what you get for that? You know what you get for simping? Stone Cold Stun- Oh. You stopped Stone Cold Stunner. Get out of here, Flame Tornadoes. Oh, you kind of come at her diagonally with that. And it gives you a little bit more, uh... Oh, she's like very susceptible to that in this mode. Yeah, that's true. My character is a female sim. I, we, we fought every gang in town. The fucking Yakuza, fucking zombies. All because, like, they don't even necessarily know that the boyfriends got kidnapped. They might just be gallivanting around with some random thoughts. Maybe they're playing dodgeball somewhere, as they're known to. Curse you! Defeated the Yakuza. Impossible! Defeated by a pair of schoolgirl deviants! How? Just because we're young. And cute. Don't mean we can't tear down this whole town to get our boyfriends back. Wretched little girls. You should respect power when you see it. You may have mystical tattoo creatures. And a really sharp sword. But that's nothing compared to the power we have. And that is... You want to tell her? Let's do it together. The power of... Oh. This was a bad idea, wasn't it? Not our smart. Oh, cool. Plan. We're gonna die. Maybe if we twist our bodies just as we land, we can. Hey, we're not dead. Did she no. knock me into ancient Japan? We're gonna be sore tomorrow. Is, is this the game version of fucking Kraka? Oh man, you were right. Trip to the, spot the classic scene from the original, needed. right? I agree, Kunio. Okay, yeah. It's relaxing. Huh? Ah, it's girls! Look away! The spa's for men only. Kunio! You big dummy, we've been looking all over Oh, they already you. synced it. <laughs> we thought you were kidnapped, Ricky Poo! Ah, oh, jeez. It's those crazy girls again. What were their names? No idea. Come on, let's get out of here. Yeah. Maybe Hasabe and Mommy are still up. <laughs> oh, shit. Damn. Yo, so they retconned the fucking lore for the sake of a fucking twist ending. Because in the Super Famicom Ricky Kunio game, in the, Su the Super Famicom Kunio games, they are their girlfriends, and you can play as them. You ever do that? You ever draw on yourself in class? You ever fall asleep in class and wake up with fucking drool? <laughs> How awesome is that? I've definitely done that before. Are there multiple endings? I wouldn't be surprised if there were. And yeah, the, the whole music game in this game is fucking awesome. Every time I've... That's the worst two ways. Whenever, whenever, every time I ever fell asleep in class, I just wake up with drool on my chin and a fucking boner. Like, it wouldn't happen often. But when it happened, it was always that... You know, the one-two punch. Yeah, 
Oh, here comes the breakdown. That's true. They do have, uh... They, there are other girlfriends and shit, Visored. But these two appear in the second Kunio game for what? Super NES, for Super Famicom. Hasebe charm. Oh, we can play this one? Hell yeah! Alright, I gotta do a, a playthrough as, uh... Oh, yeah, that's New Game Plus. Ricky Cuno. Let's play as Cuneo since so the game is dopey ass eyebrows. I imagine he gets different armor and he's he doesn't wear the bra. I, he probably gets a different ending too, no? Take it anymore! Since when do they expect us to learn things in detention? Tell That's it. I'm dead. Death by math. Here lies Masako. Killed by numbers. I don't even go to this school. What is it, Kyoko? Ricky and Kunio! They've been... kidnapped! Oh, Ricky! I'll save you! Come in, Kunio! Girls, please take your seats. No, you take them! You can't silence love, Mr. Rudis! You'll find whoever took our boyfriends and beat them into the street! Also, your lessons are boring! Yeah, what she said! What's going on? Oh wow, I'm like, Looks like we've got some troublemakers in detention. I'm not used to like being this slow now. I didn't realize how much those speed upgrades are, like, how much they affected. Oh, he got me with the pocket sand. got the base moves room. I wonder... So it seems like it's gonna be the same story. I don't know if there are, are there, if there are alternate endings. But now I'm curious if they're gonna give him like the bra armor or if they're gonna have like different different armor pieces you can get. It's not like they wear it anyway so it doesn't make that much of a difference. I think they do wind up with different armor. Now what's the plan? Break out of school, find our boyfriends, and beat the Favorite life movie out of, of whoever all took time. them. Good plan. Thanks. Well, I, don't know. I just came up with Dawn it. of the Dead is up Whoa. there for sure. You are like crazy Battle Royal is up there. Uh, uh. See, now it feels so slow compared to how it was after I got all the speed upgrades. Goodfellas for sure is up there. Oh, I don't have the stunner either anymore.
Oh wait, wasn't there stuff inside of... Oh, shit. I think there was a, I don't think I ever went in that bathroom before. Or, no, there was stuff. Come back after finding a way to get inside locked doors. Yeah, it wasn't the bathroom, it was the fucking elevator. Shit, I wonder if I would have... If I didn't start the game over, if I would have been able to go in that elevator when it came back. Because I never- I was never able to go in that elevator the entire game. I- you know, if there's a- maybe that would have been the double dragon fight, because I think that's how it was in the original. Where they came down the elevator and you fought double dragon. who sent us that text message. Yeah, huh? Check your phone, Kyoko. For what? To find out who sent us that text? Oh, yeah! It says, uh, blocked caller. That's a weird name. Damn it. Of course it would be blocked. Oh, you know him? Come on. Yo, I bet that's a secret boss battle that I didn't do. Or maybe you get that when you defeat all the Mafia statues. I don't know, I think I want to continue on that at another point. I think now I'm going to give Pure Minhead a try in, in uh, Dead by Daylight. Yeah, here. After I just... After I'm done beating up women. No. Cool. Alright. 